Okay, in the previous video, we looked at how to draw the line work using the three commands that you find under the line command. But one thing that I forgot to do was to actually introduce you to construction lines, which I believe is a cool feature that you actually need to know before you start doing any line work or circles or anything that you want. Because like in the case of drawing a rectangle, like we did in the previous video, as you, as you see, as you could see, let me click on the LB. You can draw a rectangle, but you can't know the dimensions or you won't know what exactly that you would need to do. This is where construction lines come in because they help to give you snapping guides and also dimension guides which will guide you in where you need to draw yours or snap your rectangle to a certain point as to give you a rectangle of a certain dimension, certain width and certain length. So what we want to do in today's video, we just want to look at construction lines so that you and me will be able to draw geometry that's more accurate and better placed than when you just do it from nowhere. So without wasting too much time, let's look at that first. So when you want to draw construction lines, all you have to do is go to the line command and in this case go to line and you have to skip all the way down and go to where it says construction. So there are three ways you can, cre you can create construction lines and the first one is to use the crosshair command. So the crosshair command, what it does is that it creates two lines, one in the Y and one in the X direction at the point that you select. As in this case, we have selected and our mouse is hovering and it's telling us pick the point for the construction line crosses. In this case, we're just going to put it at this point. Now, the next thing that you would want to do is maybe create an individual horizontal line or individual vertical line. That is simple, it's just going back to line. In this case, if you want to create a horizontal line, go to where it says construction, horizontal line, and then you create, and then you just pick the point you want to place your horizontal line. So your horizontal lines will be infinite in length and so they will, that is to say they will extend beyond your frame or the frame of your paper as you can see right now. In the case where you want to place a horizontal line, all you have to do is go to vertical line and once you're done, as you can see, you have created your vertical construction line. Once this is done, you can now go in and go and click on LB and in this case, you're now going to snap to this point and then snap to this point. And the cool thing about construction lines is that they are not or they will not be printed on your paper when you actually draw. These are just going to be used as guides in your drawing, but they will not print out in your final drawing. Just to give you an example, let me just go and, see and say print to PDF. And in this case, we're just going to call this cons line. And when we save it, one thing that I want you to see is wait for it is my AutoCAD or is my PDF. As you see, the line is not quite visible, but if you zoom in, as you can see, there we have our line, but as you can see, there are no construction lines. So construction lines are going to be useful guides that will give us points where we need to snap to when we want to create our geometry. And one thing is when you want to start doing something that has dimensions, I'll show you much later on the offset lines so that you also know what way you want your geometry to start off to and how much you want to offset it by so that when you create your rectangles, they will have actual dimensions. But what I just want to do is showcase to you how you can create construction lines. And also remember, you can always turn this or hide them off by going to hide or show. In the case you want more clarity, you can always go to hide or show. And in this case, they will pop up on the screen. So now that you know how to do construction lines, let's go back to our geometry and see how we can continue and see and do also make better geometry.